It's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com.au where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomy by improving their quality of life and where we also provide tailor-made solutions to hospitals and intensive care units to save money and resources whilst providing quality care. In last week's blog I shared home care for long-term intensive care patients where Intensive Care at Home was featured in an article from the ACCCN, which is the Australian College of Critical Care Nursing. You can check out last week's blog and last week's article if you're clicking on the link below this video. In this week's blog, I want to point towards an article that was published on the ABC website on the 29th of September 2014. The title of the article is Majority of Australians not dying the way they want to, the Grattan Institute report finds, as care becomes more institutionalized. The article highlights once again that a good death is where people can die with dignity and with control over their circumstances. Dying is Australia, in Australia is more institutionalized than in other countries. A public discussion as well as service providers are needed to give people the best chances of dying well. Dying in hospitals is very expensive and a great deal of money could be saved if people are given the opportunity to die at home. Again, whilst the intensive care at home mainly provides a better quality of life for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and their families. We also strongly believe and know from experience that some patients in intensive care who approach their end of life sometimes over many weeks and many months on a ventilator would be much better off to spend their final weeks or final months at home. This provides once again a win-win situation, improves the quality of end of life for patients and their families and saves money and frees up much needed resources in intensive care. So check out this article below the video and read through it. It's really interesting and I would obviously also be interested about what you think about the article. Do you think that death and dying is institutionalized in Australia? Share your thoughts and experiences. Please also note that Intensive Care at Home has been selected as a preferred provider for Queensland Health Services as part of the recent Hospital in the Home Tender. You can also contact me on 041094-2230 if you want to know more about how we can help you, your intensive care unit or your patients and families. Thank you for tuning into this week's blog. This it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com.au and I'll see you again in another update next week.